Hmm. Yeah, yeah, what bit? Hmm. Oh. I am going to make this face. Because I don't like what you just said about yourself. No. No, I absolutely do not think that about you. <sighs> Put this book down and get out of that best chair. Look, I absolutely don't think any of the things that you just said about yourself. Baby. Baby. Here's the problem, okay? Come on, turn around. Look in the mirror. Oh, it's okay. Come on, turn around. Look in the mirror. I want you to look at yourself in the mirror. In this strange position you have it set in. It, it most certainly is. The way you have this mirror set up, it's, it's like from the ground up. It's not a good description. It's it's making you look down on yourself, you know? I mean, like, literally look down at yourself. You don't have this, like, put up anywhere. You're not looking at yourself straight and tall or, or anything like that. You're already kind of in a position where you're going to be looking negatively at yourself to begin with. I know you never cared about it before. That was before. You clearly care about it now. Okay. Look, hey. Let me put my hands on your waist and stand beside you here. And bad positioning of the mirror be damned. Tell me what you see. Mm -hmm. Well, that's just a load of bullshit. It is. This is totally wrong. It's completely wrong. See, the problem with what's going on right now is that you're looking at yourself and you're intentionally looking at the things that you dislike. No, don't look at me like that. You're talking about the shape of your body. How much weight you think you need to gain or lose. And you're talking about the shape of your face, the contours, things about your skin, moles, blemishes, Smile lines? Smile lines? Do you even hear yourself? No, that one. That one I'm gonna get you on. De definitely, I'm, I'm not relenting on that one because crow's feet are attractive. I don't care who you are. You can disagree with me if you want to, but crow's feet to me are a great sign of someone who's been smiling a lot. Okay, yes, or someone who works outside and has to squint their eyes off. And look, that's not the point. The point is, you look at yourself in the mirror, and all you can say is the things about your body that you don't like. Things that are incomplete, things that make you shudder to think of the fact that you have to live with what you have, with what you see as imperfections. Do you know what I see when I look at you? Okay, here, let me get a little closer to you. I see. Expressive eyes. Wonderful eyebrows. A smile that can make me weak in the knees at any moment and the accompanying smile lines that tell me you know exactly what you're doing the moment you do it. I 
I see a delicate curvature of neck, strong shoulders that have helped you carry many things in your life, be it actual physical things, be it stress, be it your own mental health. I see an individual who makes me laugh. Someone who's made me cry with their courage and their honesty. Someone who's made me look at my own self in the mirror and wonder, what the hell did I do to get to this point? Or I'm, I'm the person you want to entertain, really? I'm the person you want to give time to? So you probably look in a mirror and you think that... <laughs> maybe you think that very same thing. I'm the person I want to waste time with, and you know what? Yeah. Because no matter what you think about this vessel that you live in, the reality is, it really doesn't matter. It really, truly doesn't matter. Because it's what's inside of you that counts the most. And you can look at all your imperfections, and you can hear me say this, and you can say, well, yeah, but there's this, and I don't like this, and I can't get this taken care of. And you can be pouty, and you can be sad. But I hope you won't be. I hope that you see strength to be who you are, love for other people, and encouragement to do the same. I hope you see ambition and passion. I hope you look at yourself and don't see what you are. I hope you look at yourself and see what you can become. This can be temporary if you choose it to be that way, but that's if you want it to be that way. And as for me, well, I see you looking in a mirror and I see reflected back so many possibilities. I see the personality that I love, the laughter that I adore, the spark. that keeps me going more often than you think. I see that in this frame. I see that in this body. I see it in these hands and in your eyes, in your legs, in your thighs, in your core. I see it in every bit of you. And it might be imperfect to you. But honestly, the thing that gets me the most is that you are who you are. That you're unapologetically you. So you know what those things that, that you want to change? Okay. If you want to change them, things around your waist or maybe even your face or how you sound or whatever. We can work on those. But I think you're perfect. Because I see the drive that's inside of you. And I don't want you to hate yourself for what you currently are. Because, you know, if you really think about it, when you're looking at yourself in the mirror is when you're being most critical of yourself. What you're not seeing is what someone sees when you're encouraging them. What you're not seeing is what I say when you look at me and you tell me you love me. Or when you make me laugh, that little mischievous grin you give me when you know you've really gotten me good with some kind of joke or some sort of what have you. There are things I see that you don't even know exist yet. So, please, don't be too hard on yourself. There's a lot about you that I absolutely love.
and on those other things, well, we can work on those together. Okay? So don't be hard on yourself. I don't let people I love be hard on other people, and I won't let you be hard on yourself either. Now, didn't we say we were going to do something later today? Alright then. So what would you like to do? <laughs>